Hi team, Nike global trainer and hyper ice expert, Alex Picciarelli here. And today we're gonna be grabbing our Viper 3 and warming up through our lower body, then hitting a few movements to activate through our quads and our glutes so we're nice and ready to work. So go ahead, turn this on. I'm gonna go at the lowest setting so we can keep it nice and controlled down here. And we're gonna target our quad first. So get comfy on the forearms as we move through. And we're just gonna be rolling all the way up and down our leg. You can play around with your foot, internal and external rotation to target various parts of that full quadricep muscle. Working all the way up toward the hip flexor, all the way down toward that knee. We need to you know, get a little army crawl in here to get forward and backwards. You totally can, or adjust your position, right? If you're feeling a little awkward where you're at, there's no reason for it. Find a comfy spot. If you're just feeling awkward because you're feeling a little pain and tightness, we're all gonna breathe through that, okay? So hang on to it for a second. And then once you find, I'm not even gonna call it the sweet spot. I'm gonna call it, <laughs> like the little spicy spot, okay? So once you find your little spicy spot, it's gonna be an area that feels really tight or triggered by this foam roller. We're gonna hold there. Yep, we're gonna hold it. And then we're gonna do a nice little hamstring curl through it. So on that spot, woo, yeah. This is the spicy spot. I know you're feeling it. And you know, maybe you wanna make it a little bit spicier. Oop, you level it up right there as you move through. Yeah. This is just the warm up, right? We're chilling. We're still chilling. We're good. Keeping your core active while we do this to help with that warm up too, though. So we don't want to arch. We want to keep it engaged. We got about two more reps here. Oh, yes. And then we're going to go ahead. I'm going to take this guy down again and we're going to switch it into our adductor, which is through that inner thigh and groin area right here. So same position. Now I'm taking my leg out to a 90 degree angle and now we're going laterally side to side through the inside of that leg. And if you've never done this one before, you're in for a treat. You're in for a treat. Again, I guess I shouldn't call it sweet treat, a little spicy treat, okay? So then same thing, we wanna work all the way in through that groin, all the way to the outside by that knee. You might be feeling this a lot right here. I tend to be a little bit tighter up toward the groin area. So totally up to you, pick that spicy spot either way. And then we're gonna extend straight in, whoo, back in. Yep, we're doing it, we're right here. And you might even feel that glute start to turn on. It's a lower body warm up, right? We're with it. Hey, let's do it together. Come on, you're with me. Hit it. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. But these are the moments when you turn it up, you might be like wanting to really get tight with everything. Breathe through it. Breathe through it. It's good for us. All right, I got you. I'm looking out for you, okay? Breathe, nice little movements in and out. Yes, good job team. Last two. And we're done with that side. We're gonna flip it over to the other one. You know we're doing the same thing. We're gonna start with that quad first, okay? So get in that same position, again, maybe finding a comfortable spot to be as we roll all the way up, all the way down. Right up to that knee. We wanna be careful that we're not hitting those joints, right? This isn't about getting into our bone. This is about getting into our fascia, right? Our connective tissue, our soft tissue, our muscles. So watch out for that knee joint, okay? All the way up and through. Again, playing around with that foot internally and externally. Maybe get more of the outside of that quad and then through the inside. And now it's time. We're finding the spicy spot, okay? Could be different on this leg, right? That's a okay. I'm gonna find mine a little bit more on the outside. Woo! And then we're hitting that hamstring curl. Same thing here, watch, keep that core engaged, maybe push through those forearms a little bit. And we breathing, baby, we breathing. Woo, yes, big squeeze. All right, I guess it's time. Let's go, last few reps. We got four, oh yeah, three, two, and you might, again, feel a little more glute activation here as well. I got you. And done over there, I'm taking it 
down at first at least, and we're gonna hit the inside of that leg. All right, same setup. Here we go. Out and back in. You know, we're doing a lower body warm up today, but this is also just great to add in your routine between meetings, on your lunch break, maybe with your little morning pep talk. I, I need those sometimes. I don't know about you guys, but some mornings you need it. Yes, nice, and now here we go. Find the spicy spot, where is it? On this side, I'm feeling it a little more toward my knee. All right, so here we go. I'm leveling it up, come on, do it. Last few reps, breathing in, breathing out. Keep that upper body strong, but relax the face. Notice if you have any tension in your face. All right, we're gonna stay looking cute while we go through this, breathe. Last few reps, two, and one, whoo, okay. Now, Viper three, we are done with you. Thank you for all of your help. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into a few more lower body moves. So we're gonna go for our Kang squat, all right? This is one of my favorites. We're gonna hinge our hips backwards, high hamstrings, yep, they're right there. And then we're gonna drop into our squat, picking our chest up. We push the hips back up and then all the way back up to stand. If you cannot straighten your legs all the way, if they have a bend, a-okay. If you need to widen your stance to get down to this squat, we widen the stance to get down to squat. It's just our warm up, right? So it does not need to be perfect by any means. We're just getting our body used to the movement patterns that we're gonna be hitting today. Waking up our quads, which we already got nice circulation to with our Viper three. And then those hamstrings, hi, hello, how are ya? Yes, nice job. Get about one to two more in there. And back up. And we're gonna take it back down to the ground again. Here we go, we did a little field trip. Up and back down. Get some movement going, it's our warm up, right? And we're gonna head down into our sideline hip lift. So we got that forearm right underneath us, knees bent, hips stacked in line with our heels. Push down through that base leg. We drive up into that nice little side clam position and back down. I like a little rotation through my rib cage here. Try it out, see what you think. Ooh, but you might start to feel spice here and down below, yes. Last two and last one. So what we're doing with this, switching sides, you know we gotta hit both. We basically just used our Viper three to prep and prime, getting our body alert and aware. It's lower body day, got that circulation flowing. And now we're facilitating some activation through those muscle groups with this movement right here. Yes, we got two more. And last one. So we got loose, loosen those muscles up, got blood flow going, and now we activated. So we are ready to go for our lower body day. Let's go get it.